PAYGO is a very simple idea. You can't add to the deficit when you write new laws. PAYGO forces Congress to make the same tough decisions that ordinary families have to make when looking at their own finances. Congress wants to create a new program. It must offset the costs elsewhere in the budget. And similarly, if Congress wants to cut taxes, which produces revenue, then that must be offset by spending reductions. PAYGO is not a partisan concept. It's been supported by both parties in the past, and it has a proven track record of balancing budgets. PAYGO was created in the early 90s and was a significant factor in the Clinton administration turning deficits into record surpluses for the first time in generations. However, in the early 2000s, under a Republican president in Congress, PAYGO was waived and allowed to expire, clearing the way for policies that wiped out those surpluses, including huge debt finance tax cuts for the wealthiest Americans that will have to be paid for by generations to come. This week, Congress has once again passed statutory pegging, and President Obama will now sign that legislation into law. Restoring our nation's fiscal health will not be quick and easy, but it is absolutely essential, and reinstating PAYGO is an important step toward that goal.